So this video is going to be unlike almost any other video that I do in that typically I like to do reviews after the product use, but this is one of those where I figured, you know what, let me show you my process of trying to put this thing on. So welcome to The Better Buy. I'm The Better Buy Guy here to give you the information you need on the stuff that you want so you can make The Better Buy. And this is the Synova X4 Screen Protector. Full disclosure, this was sent to me, and uh, I don't have to give any biased review on this one, which I'm really happy about. I've set that up as a standard across my channel, and I'm going to live by that one. So if you see a product on here and I don't say anything bad about it, the reason is I actually don't think there's anything bad about it. Let's go ahead and look at this guy. We've got, I actually really like this little box that it comes in, just first thoughts. Um, and they do give you two, which is nice. I like that they're giving us two screen protectors. And it looks like, oh, we got two cleaning cloths as well. Perfect. All right, so we're going to do that. These are two sets of the wipes. That makes sense. We'll go ahead and put that guy back in there. Grab this out and then this thing. All right, so I'd say that's pretty good. I like that little setup. And that's definitely going to get saved for later. So I'm not someone that actually thinks you need a screen protector for this one, per se. I, I feel like these guys are so durable now however in the event that something were to happen it would be nice to have some sort of a screen protector on there and i typically have these premium lens guards on right now but we'll go ahead and go for this so let's go ahead and see how this works we just got to make sure that everything is solid here it looks like that's just going to pop off and just go on all right so Let's go ahead and make sure this is extra clean. We'll go ahead and do our wipes. One thing you want to think about when you are doing this is just making short weight. This is removes exit. This is the wet one. Yep. Um, I keep my stuff in pretty, pretty pristine, clean condition typically anyway. So not a huge deal there. Whoa, there is a lot of alcohol on this wipe. Whoa. Okay. So just something to be aware of when you do do this. Like you're going to coat this sucker in... Um, <laughs> and alcohol. That's okay. All right. Now I need my next one. And static is a problem, right? If you've got a, a really dry environment and you've got little staticky stuff going on, then that's going to be in effect. A little tiny drying cloth here. Man, that sucker is tiny. All right. Now I do not offer this service professionally. I am not going to be uh, installing any of these regularly, but if you're someone that's trying to figure out how to do this, I typically do a really good job of these. I've spent a lot of time on this with my wife's phone, my phone, other phones. I'm sure I'm not the only guy on YouTube that does this a lot. So here we go. I think that we have every, almost every speck of dust off of this guy. Yep. We are looking clean as a whistle. I don't even know where, uh-oh, where that phrase comes from. But here we go. Oh, boy. I don't love that there is no, oh my goodness, this is going to be interesting. Okay. All right, here we go. This is do or die, people. We're just going to take this thing off and hope for the best. I'm going for the long edge on this one because I feel like that makes the most sense. We will see. All right. So, looks like we're in. Looks like we are, we are locked in there. You can still see the Insta360 logo there. This is all like that. I'm getting some clicking sounds when I'm doing this, so I don't know. One thing is you're ending up with a little edge on the side here. If you can see this, it's kind of like this little bit of an edge there, which is going to happen at some level. So I don't know how I feel about that, but definitely getting like a kind of a clicking sound. We'll see. All right, let's see if I manage to get all um oh it does look like we got almost all the dust particles out of there i'm not loving the. it's almost like a, that's what it sounds like it sounds like tape like sticking and unsticking maybe this is the way that i would describe that so all right let's turn the sucker on and see how we did and let's go ahead and make sure that we got that all right let's see how the uh touch all right touch is working well and it does look like it's kind of like almost popping up on me though. Maybe not. I'm trying to figure out 
this. Okay. You do end up with a little bit of an edge on the bottom here, but I don't know if that can be avoided because, um, I don't love that. That seems to be, let's see. So we got up swipes, we got down swipes, we got over swipes, we got back swipes. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's impacting any sort of the interaction with the screen. So, I mean, it looks good. We're gonna try this out for a little while and I will definitely come back to you with my final thoughts on this in the future. But that was kind of like an unboxing and first experience and setup. So you can kind of see how that all works. Obviously I don't need this anymore. And I managed to get, see, I don't love the, it's definitely got like a clicking sound going on now. I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah, I mean, it's like it's coming unstuck while it's sticking. So that's definitely an interesting uh, experience there. Yeah, that's what's happening. It's like when you press down on it, it's connecting with the screen underneath. So there's almost like a, yeah, there is. Interesting. So it's like there's a small gap between the actual top surface here and the screen underneath so that when you're swiping down, when it touches, it's sticking just a tiny bit. But it's not a big deal and it's not gonna impact. We'll see, I'm gonna run with this for a while, use it for a little bit, and if it starts to really affect the use, then I will definitely remove it, because I've been more than happy with the other one. But if you are someone that's like, you know what, I'd love to have protection for my, uh, for my very expensive camera screen, and I don't mind a little bit of like clicky sounds or whatever, and the, touch is, the touch seems to be working just the same, then this looks like a good option. You know, it's not expensive and it's going to protect it from little scratches and stuff. I'm just not the kind of person that tends to get my X4 in that situation. So maybe this isn't the right thing for me, but it might be the right thing for you. So if nothing else, my goal is to give you the information you need on the stuff that you want so you can make the better buy. And this should have given you some good information on this screen protector. Sinova, so if you watch these videos that I just made of all these products, I hope you enjoyed the reviews. I hope you found that I was genuine in my... Uh, goal of always being pros and cons, unbiased, balanced reviews to help people make informed buying decisions. And if you like this video, send me some more products. We'll keep rocking this out and uh, good stuff. So let's keep having fun and I'll see you in the next one.